Let's go ahead and play around with the Linux kernel VGA console driver. So have your clone the Linux source code. I'll have instructions on the description on how you can set this up on your computer. But I'm gonna start by opening up Vim and I'm gonna open a specific file. It's gonna be in the drivers directory. Afterwards, we're gonna to go to video and then we're gonna to go to console. And finally, the name of the file is gonna be VGA con. This is gonna be the VGA console. As you can see here in the comment, this talks about the low level VGA based console driver. Now, what I wanna screw up in this video is the colors of the driver. So I'm gonna search for the word color. And this function looks like an interesting place. We have here a color parameter, which is good for us. And it's called build attribute, VGA console build attribute. So you can see that this function basically gets a color and a bunch of other parameters like blink, underline, and stuff like that, intensity. And it just goes ahead and merges all this information into this 8-bit variable. And you can see how it starts by putting in the color into the attributes. So if I want to go ahead and change the color, all you got to do is just add here something. Let's say, for example, let's add 2. Now let's go ahead and check to see what this does. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to build the kernel. Now, if it's your first time building the kernel, make sure you start by running make def config. And this will prepare the default configuration of the kernel. But I'm just going to run make minus J and then eight. That's going to split it for eight jobs. If you have multiple cores on your computer, it's going to make the build faster. Okay, now we can see that the build has finished. We have the BZ image ready. This is the kernel itself, compressed. So I'm going to copy this path and I'm going to start preparing the QEMU parameters. I'm going to use QEMU here to emulate a computer that is booting up. So I'm going to use QEMU system x86-64. That's going to be a x64 machine. I'm going to pass minus kernel, so I'm going to pass here a custom kernel. And here is going to be our path. And now you can see Linux is booting up, but it's having here blue as text color. This is pretty cool, but let's make this even cooler. Let's make the color here completely random. Each boot, it's going to use a different color. So I'm going to close the machine over here for a sec. Let's go back to Vim. Go to the same file, the vgacon.c file. But instead of just adding here two, I'm going to add here a random number. But for this, I'm going to need to generate a random number each time. And for this, I can use include slash Linux slash random dot h. Over here, I have a function that is called get random and u8. This will get me back a random number that is eight bits. And this is good for me. So to use this, I'm going to first need to include this in the vgacon.c file. So I'm going to go back here and add an include. Let's add it here, for example. So we're going to include Linux slash random.h. Now going back to plus two over here. Instead of just adding plus two, I'm going to add get random u8. And now it's going to go ahead and add a random number here each time. Now let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to build the kernel again, make minus j8. And now we can see the build was successful. So I'm going to boot up again QEMU, like we did before. Same parameters. Now you can see we have here these crazy colors. Let's boot this up again. I'm going to show you that it's going to have different colors. And again. Now you can't even see the text. This is, this is pretty funny. This can happen sometimes. Let's try this one more time. 